All right, we're going live with mycelium. I've been uh, excited for this hack. Also, this intro port is so good. Um, yeah, this is an intermediate hack, 13 exits. It's been in development for a long time. Since I started playing Kaizo, I think it was early on in its development. And yeah, I'm just really excited to get into it. I also have five alpha levels that uh, Schema Tuna was nice enough to send me. So we're going to check those out and see see what the uh, early ideas that went that became mycelium kind of look like. So it'll be fun to get to those once we beat the main game. But yeah, let's uh let's get into mycelium. This port is so good. Let's do it. Oh. Just some coins in there. Right. Oh, a one-up! We found a one-up. Can we keep going higher? Yo, toes. After a late afternoon stroll, you decide to head back home for the evening. Thanks for the good luck. Alright, um, we just gotta chuck here. Alright, mess it up. Yeah, okay. Anything up here? Uh, it looked like there was something up there. I swear I saw it like, yeah, there's like munchers up there. I'm guessing that's where the Koopas spawn. Come on, Charles. Oh. Okay. There's a little piece of grass here. Nice little decorative, decorative piece of grass. I wonder if I can go up. Hold on. I need to scroll over here first. Oh, no, alright, it's solid. Oof, that was close. There's munchers down there. No, there's the H! We're gonna get that H. That H is... On my name. Alright, so just do nothing. Jump over the first one. Alright, then we get over here. And then I think I want to just do like a walk off. Like that. Oof, H. Alright. All progress is auto-saved. Good to know. Hold on. Okay, nothing up there. Alright. Okay. Koopas. Anybody? I go left? Go right. Maybe I can just make that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you can just make that. Oh! Um. Koopas? Okay. Oh no! Alright. One, two, jump, through. Over to the one tile. Then we three gram. Okay. Wait, I need you. Wait, no, maybe it's just P speed. Maybe it's just P speed. Oh, oh there's a super Koopa. <laughs> now I know. Okay, PB. Chibi. 
I go. I can't go into autopilot in this section. I just keep doing trying to do this in one jump without baiting the chuck. I just die over and over again. This is a really cool section so far. I really like it. Two, through, hit the chuck, go over, jump, re grab, mini jump, mini jump. You know what, chuck? You're going off the edge. Yeah. Oh man, that was close. Bridge under repair. Huh, I see. Is there anything? Oh, what is that? Baseball? Where the fuck? Uh, excuse me? Hello? Where did. <laughs> Can I land on this branch? No, okay. That baseball is materialized from another dimension. Oh shit! We fell off the bridge. Where are we now? We're gonna go left. Ooh. A campfire. This is, this is a nice little set piece here. This is a re really cute little set piece. Okay, can I, can I? Is there a way to do this? Can, can, can one do this? I doubt you can, right? You lose that property when you jump off the wall. Maybe I can, like, maybe something appears here later to, like, complete the wall. Yo, Sauce, I did check that out. It does look really cool. I downloaded it. I don't know when I'll play it, but I'm definitely interested in playing Binary Perdition. Alright, let's climb up here. Um, okay, let's not jump right back down. Let's climb up. Yeah, it looked really cool. They dead, yeah. Poor, poor campfire dweller. Oh, I was afraid that was gonna break on me and I was gonna fall again. So I jump over here. I feel like this this looks like a classic Metroid screen, right? Where like there's an energy tank on the other side and you're like, let me just go grab the energy tank. Whoa! And you just fall down and die. Or into another area and you have to backtrack. Oh. Ooh, this is nice. I like the overworld too. I thought that was cool. Okay, so I, I don't wanna I wanna kick him left, because I'm gonna wanna bounce off that shell. Ooh, that's good. Oh shit! If I had thrown the shell sooner. If I just thrown the shell sooner, that would have lined up. I'm pretty sure you can do it. I I don't know if I'll keep pushing that strat, but. It's a save. If you get if you mess it up at the edge, if you get a particular mess up, you can kind of save this with a shell jump by scooping the shell off the muncher on the left side. It's interesting to know. I wonder if you could even just bump it. Hold on, that might be easier. Can I just bump this shell? If I like drop my my run input when I'm on my way up. All right, we've entered the classic Nick's waste time. Yeah, I I know you all missed it. Let's waste some time doing nonsense. Boom! Oh! Shit. It wasn't my favorite. It's okay, the meal itself was really good. Oh no! I was too fast! I got a 1-up at least. Didn't waste a Mario there. And there's an Indian restaurant nearby that's so good. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. H! Nice! Oh wait! Okay, I did want to spin there. Oh shit! <laughs> okay. Yeah, it feels like a second exit. Oh, 
I missed the shell jump. Oh, Wiggler! We're gonna try to go all the way left. No. Alright, two bounces. Okay, maybe be a little further to the right and regrab. There's a secret there, I think. Can I go back? Let me go back. I saw a ledge. There's a ledge. Oh, well, there's a goal. All right, well, we got a goal tape. We got a goal tape. Thanks for the G's. All right, let's, uh, let's update our exit counter. Yeah, because we got a goal tape. We didn't go to an overworld, but that's okay. I think that's one out of 13. Uh, we can check that actually. Hold on, I'll make a save state. Um, and let's reset. See if we're at one or two. This port is so good. Two, okay. So, we will update to two. Makes sense. That second part felt very different than the first part, but we didn't get a gold tape. Not that I remember. Okay. So we are at two exits. So now this thing is broken. So we can go down there. Is What about back here? I like this, like, Metroidvania style of, like, world design. Yeah, so I imagine something's gonna appear here to allow us to wall run back up. But it's cool that this area is like changing. I wonder if there's like ASM that changes it or if it's like multiple versions of the same place that have like slightly different characteristics, like different cloned sublevels. But either way, it's very cool. Oh, ooh. Okay, we got left or right. We always go left. Left is the direction. We can go up, we can keep going left. What's in here? All right, I like this port. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh, oh, like with this urchin, he's fluctuating in space. I was hoping they'd shift down right before I got there. Yeah, two down swims there is good. Okay. I should have checked for a secret bouncing on the urchin. Well, now I can. Now I can. H sighted. <laughs> I was so focused on this, the, the possibility of a secret, I just wasn't expecting a, like, a post-transition troll. That was really funny. Okay. 
nothing up there. All right. H. What's down here? Oh, it's just ground. Oh, there's a pipe. Oh. What is this? Wait, I can bring this. I can get an infinite throw block, right? Give me the infinite block. One FE for the win. Oh. Goodbye, infinite block. Wait, hold on. We have to check something. Oh, Tuna thought of it. Damn, Tuna. <laughs> De-choosing the infinite item swim block. Shit. Okay, I can do a drop. For some reason, I was like, why is it not working? Okay. Ooh. Um... Get out of here, Chuck. No, I jumped, I swear. PB. Oh, I, I didn't know if I was trying to kill the shell. If I'm being honest, I don't know if I'm racing this shell or I was trying to kill it. I, I went a little too high. I kind of missed my up throw. I'm still not sure. I'm going to assume I'm racing it. I feel like... I am wanting to maximize this item soon. It felt really close to the block timing out though. Like the block timer couldn't have been much longer. So I, I have a feeling I want to kill this shell, but I don't know. Like an army of fast strats that don't exist in any of the times. Oh, that last one is just a jump. Okay, I when I get to the triple muncher, I need to just go up. I think I just have to be ahead of it slightly so that I can sneak up past it with my sw item swim speed and then jump at the water surface. I definitely uh, made that more complicated than was necessary. Yeah, like that. Alright. Uh, Porky Pupper! Alright. Not today, Porky Pupper. Not today. Alright, we got another exit. Let's update our exit counter. Um, that's three. And we will play 10 yumps for 10 minutes, but first let's go find the next level. Let's find our next uh, target. What's up here? Oh, there's something in here. Alright. Oh, we got a ghost level. Okay. So far, I think my three favorite 10 yumps levels... I don't know, it's hard to pick. They're all so good. Um, I really... I really liked... Uh, oh, shit. What is... Lag. Oh, shit. Oh shit, I I didn't process that boo ring properly in time. Alright, PB. What was I saying? Oh, uh, for 10 yumps, it's probably... bob -omb for Baba was really cool. I really loved Mushy Mush. And then, for some reason, Three Wigglers. Like, I just, I don't know, something about Three Wigglers is amazing to me. Oh, 
Okay, so I want to jump early. Right. I want to actually jump to the left before that boost swings down on me and then curve th back through. You have to get it. you have to land at a certain point on the e bubble for the regrab to even work. Um Wait, do I go back again for the eerie? With that up that sign up top? Do I go like to the right and back? Okay, I have time. I just go up the far right side. I tried to rush it. Yikes. Okay. Oh no, I thought about doing a big jump, but I hesitated. That's PB. So I just gotta make sure I take a big jump on the off the Eerie when I land and arc over these uh, these blue lasers. Alright, PB. Ooh, I think that should still be fine. Got the orb. That was a very cool level. I really like the like elegance of like the spawning and respawning, the like back and forth dance of, of that section. It's very cool. So yeah, let's update our exit counter. That's four. Four exits down. Alright, uh let's keep keep going up up here. Well, we can't go, oops. We can't go up there, I think. Or can we? No, we can't. So what's over here? Mm, let's check the bottom, the middle. Maybe there's like a dead end. Let's check over here. No, that takes us back here. Is there anything under the water? Ooh, there is under the water. That's cool. Oh, and I died. So, we're going this way. Oop. P speed. Ooh, didn't hit left just quick enough. I think it has something to do with the state, like, of sinking in lava, overwriting some, something about Yoshi. But I'm not 100%. Something like that, but a little, I need to exaggerate my jumps a little bit more. Like, if I was slightly later on both of those jumps, I would have lined up to land on the tall block. 
Must have been like a late jump, maybe with a high Y oscillation too. Alright. H. Nice. Oh, that's a spin. Okay. I need to neutral. It's in full on neutral. Yeah. Like... Oh no! Alright, PB. I held jump at that moment. I'm like, one tile gap! So I held jump and then I jumped because it's ground. I tried to like time it so I hit the button as I was like passing over a gap but the block is like in between two tiles. So I don't even think I need to do that. But it, now I know to hold jump when I land there. But that's PV. That requires me to like actually hold left for a few frames. There we go. In there. Paragoomba. Paravabom. Another Paragoomba. Very cool level. It's another one down. Alright, let's update our exit counter. It puts us at five. Alright, five exits done. I can't tell if I'm paused because the music is still playing when it's paused. So I can't go up. I don't know if these munchers will ever disappear. Let's go check that water spot again. Down here. There's like a... Are those munchers still there? I know some stuff changes when you beat levels. Yeah, okay. Maybe I get like a mushroom and can come here. Maybe there's some kind of power up I get. Or the munchers disappear. But there are definitely two spots I need to check. Like, if I do end up getting a mushroom at some point, I can probably use it here as well. So I'll keep that in mind. V big Metroidvania vibes with this. Like, I said that before, but I, I love it. Alright, so we came from up there. So what's over here? We can't get up there. Um, we got a spiky, spiky ball, a boo. I think we did the boo level. And then there's a Goomba. So let's go over here. Oh, it's like some kind of doorway. Some temple. Some little spikes up there. What are those? Are those death? Yep, they are. They are death. Oh, we gotta walk back. Yeah, so we'll just go straight over here. I don't think we can... Yeah, there's no way to get up there. 